Light showers on the radar. They're slowly drifting into Baltimore. Right now, they're around Westminster, back through Frederick, just getting into areas like Cockeysville and about to get into Owings Mills. Now, these are fairly light and quick moving, so if you're normally a morning walker or a jogger, you could still probably venture out as long as you have some sort of raincoat. Eventually, these will be getting out of here really by about 7 o'clock this morning. The cold front sweeping by, so it is going to be cooler today, still above the norm for mid-March. We're really actually seeing mild weather all the way into next week. Area of low pressure, though, stalled down into the south, and that's why there have been several inches of rain in parts of Texas, up through the Mississippi River Valley. In fact, some places in northern Louisiana have pushed over 10 inches of rain just in a week. That's why significant flooding has been issued there. This storm system will slowly drift up into our area. It won't stall, though, as it gets into Maryland, and for that reason, we won't be dealing with any flooding concerns as that moves our way. But the rain chances will be increasing with it Sunday night into Monday. Temperatures right now still falling through the 60s. We're down to 55 in Westminster, 59 now in Bel Air. Still, though, in the mid-60s around Baltimore, including the city and BWI. So we'll probably fall a few more degrees through sunrise, then bounce back to 65 into the afternoon, starting out with a cloud cover, maybe a shower early, all fairly light, and more sunshine breaks out later today. There's a breeze out of the northwest. That adds a bit of a chill. It will draw in much cooler air, so overnight, expect it to feel chilly, especially after we were close to 80 the past couple of days. We're talking lows at least to about 40 around Baltimore. Our northern suburbs throughout Baltimore and Carroll counties could fall into the mid-30s. Tomorrow then, warming back to the low 60s, becoming cloudy once again. Isolated shower possible, really not enough for you to cancel any outdoor plans. The odds of rain will be increasing, though, through the second half of the weekend. Future cast shows that hint of a shower later on Saturday. Saturday, so especially overnight Saturday into Sunday, there could be a couple showers breaking out. Even Sunday afternoon, a few showers are possible. Grab the umbrella if you plan to head out, but it's Sunday night to early Monday. We have the heaviest rain possible. Monday as well could feature thunderstorms. Seven-day forecast with highs in the 60s over the weekend. The nights eventually get milder back to the 50s. A warming trend into Wednesday as we're back to the 70s.